Hey you guys, hey hey hey, welcome to my YouTube channel, welcome to the channel. If it is your first time, my name is Hotspot Gomani guys. If you're coming back for more, thank you so much. I hope you can see by the title that that is going to be keeping up today. So I'm going to be unfolding one of my stories, guys. So I'm having a a glass of Coca-Cola. So just want to give you a backstory in my life guys you know sometimes when in life you encounter like um disappointments disappointments like you encounter disappointment the thing that led me to this life is because i was disappointed i was disappointed guys so with me being disappointed guys you know the thing of having a friend of a friend yeah it was those kind of situation a friend of a friend had like such a very beautiful luxury life according to us back then so well i girl let this girl hook us up let this girl hook us up then a friend didn't mind like a friend of a friend didn't mind guys she told us that okay you guys i'm gonna hook you up since when you showed your interest in my life i'm going to hook you up guys and sometimes you are not really really sure like what's happening in the other world until you get to the world you understand so okay the girl didn't actually mind and hooked us up and you know that as a student guys sometimes you just have to go to groove like groove in the, like i'm from a village guys so if i'm in town i have to go explore the groove side of town you understand because it's totally not the same with the rural areas groove it's t it's totally different so the girl hooked us up and we went to the groove like his his partner came and faced us his blazer his blazer i guess um came first us and then i i don't know guys is there's something with this blessings that they always do and they do the, the same thing again and again i think when they meet at their main conference like they say you should ask this girl this and this and that you understand so he asked us if we were we are not hungry then we were like honey we are hungry because we know that we are going to a groove we opted for chicken licking hot wings made with some buns and coke we're just gonna have that before we go have the alcohol you understand so okay fine we passed by caves to buy chicken licking bought the, the hot wings and bought like everything that we needed at chicken licking and then we went to like maybe we will find a place and then sit and have the food and uh, uh, other uh, like i didn't even pay a lot of attention to anything because with myself it was like exploring like life i'm still young i need to explore life i'm far from home like there was nothing that can like can be an obstacle at that moment fine so guys we the time for groove like finally came and we have to go to the groove now <laughs> okay you get to the groove like always in town in each and every town there'll be that place man that place that place that we know we all have to go with the you understand and then we go to the place you, you mind you i heard of the place i had people talking about it i've been in town for a few months so i i wanted to go to that place guys so we got to the place it was lovely and one other thing about these places guys i believe that they like they can tell when there's a new girl in the group i don't i don't know if they tell each other or what but you can tell that you're new because a lot of them will approach you and then you'll you just have to decide and pick the one that you can go with if there are options you you get so with mine there were a lot of options and mine do at the back of my mind i want that life and guys don't get me wrong like my parents were paying my school fees I studied at Richfield, guys. My parents were paying my school fees, were paying my accommodation. 
fees and they were also giving me a pocket money and i could like in a month i could go to be surprised by myself a pair of clothes like i could buy an ice cream like life was just normal okay you understand it's just that sometimes we lack contentment so that's the problem that's not my parents problem my parents just didn't just take me home to go throw me away in a big city no they were taking they made sure that they take care of me because they knew that such things could happen so they didn't want me to feel the pressure but you know the envy in a person sometimes will just grow and you become somebody that you were not back at home and with my situation like i just wanted to explore guys it was nothing deep nothing personal just wanted to explore fine okay we are at groove guys and i am i'm someone that i might look like i'm a i'm quiet like in my space and i'm boring but when i just hear the sound at yo oh. <laughs> like it gets to that point you understand it gets so nice and you get comfortable i was so very much comfortable knowing that okay we have transport which is one of like the things that you should worry about whenever you're going to groove that how are we gonna get home so fine guys and that day my i think the girl like a friend of a friend like tried to hook us up like my friend and i to find partners that are going to give us the life that we aspire having you understand so okay he hooked us she 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 hooked us up guys and then the guys came and approached us like obviously you know guys they'll tell you things like i like you you look so pretty you are beautiful and all sorts of things so but looking at the guys you're just like oh my gosh no i never thought like there are people that are old ne? but then there are just some people that know this is too much like this is a lot this is not yo uh uh now this one seems to be my grand my grandfather how am i going to do this at first guys to tell you the truth i, I couldn't i couldn't but we exchanged numbers you get but i couldn't just like take it too far so we got back home they dropped us there like we promised each other that we are gonna talk so a friend like that girl then asked us the the next day that how did how did things how did things go with you guys like and all sorts of things and because i think the girl because she has been in she has been in this for some times she knows that if you gave a guy this attention then she will obviously send you money then she was like ah uh -uh, nah, you are doing something wrong because if you want this um that's not how we do things like if mind you the girl will will eat like takeaways every day it's someone that when he when she buys groceries she only buys maybe cereals eggs and then bread like that's what she will probably have but cooking was not her thing at all because that that part for catering was catered by somebody else so you can always have like takeaways even if you want but you can just have it by the side of the road like there was no need for her to cook and as a student who doesn't want that who doesn't want that on earth like who doesn't want that sometimes you just have to even if not every day but there are times where you just feel like i don't want to cook this week a whole of this week because you're a student guys cooking for one it's it's something else it's not nice at all so okay the girl was like there's something that you did wrong like if this guy if you gave this guy like the right attention that they want <laughs> i can tell you for sure now that by now there was supposed to be money in your bank accounts then my friend and i we looked at each other we were like girl we are living once once and for all we are living once guys so we were like okay cool then we are gonna give these guys like the right attention that you're talking about <laughs> and guys thinking of 
of the attention that they need and thinking of the person that you're going to give uh, the attention Ooh. it's something else guys you just want like the treatment and the treats but ay, the attention that they want oh my gosh we were like okay it's still a weekend honey don't worry we are still gonna go back with you to the groove we went back the guys came it was it was fun it was lit it was fun but then you get like you get the third thing have you ever felt an encounter when somebody touches you and you can tear that <laughs> deep down you're just like no but because like there's even a konyana in that you're just like okay let me try to keep myself like the, the touching you know when somebody touches you you're in the love of your life or one of the person that you thought was one of, was the love of your life touches you you can tell that oh my gosh oh my gosh but then the feeling of having to be like you <laughs> you <laughs> the trauma that this thing have yo Ooh, the things that we go through guys for soft life oh my gosh i can't lie too much it's just too much so guys we had to be there be in a moment like being in a moment with a guy and because they're very quick you get that they are very very much quick then they were not like in rush of us having to having to go with them like sleep and all of that like there was no such they they wanted to to be sure if we are on the same board with them i think the girl did tell that this are new this are barbarians of this town so be very nice with them so they were very nice they knew that they're still gonna get a chance to do whatever that they want to do to us or with us you understand so okay we went back to our places because now we did give them the right attention we got the money <laughs> which was something that we wanted we actually got the money i actually got the money myself because i gave it the person that was supposed to be my partner or that i was i was supposed to entertain at that moment the right attention you get okay fine so when I got to my room the following day, I got a call. Hi, babe. Hi. Did you get the money? Did you get the money? And I'm like, yes, hon, I did get the money. Then there was like a gospel yourself. <laughs> Whenever you hear the word gospel yourself, you're just like thinking of clothes, hair, if you're somebody who likes hair, jewelry, like all sorts of things, like maybe renovating your room because people had to see that it, with a space that, oh my gosh, um, there are some changes here. This person got a, something, like something, even if it's not a partner or partner with money, but I just got something. I just got money from somewhere so they will just probably like can tell that oh my gosh hmm, you are changing your life changed guys that amount of money i can't tell but it was my first time getting that um, it's like such a huge amount of money at the same time which is not for accommodation it's, which is not for my school fees i used to get that money and i know that it doesn't belong to me it belongs to my school fees so you get so yeah i went and spoiled myself i went to that friend which we, we started becoming close i went to that friend and like i told her that oh my gosh girl that guy did send the money and we laughed like she was like she also said that go spoil yourself girl we live once after all that was our motive like we live once after all so there's no need to there's no need to hold yourself back there's actually no need at all so guys we i like i already said that we, we, we i went out and did all the things that i had to do that i wanted to do the whole time that i've been aspiring from this girl and um like by the time i got the money the weekend was over then which means we're gonna see each other during weekends like uh i tend to 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 remember now that you can't call such a relationship it's not it's not a relationship it's like it's like a, a, 
it's like business it's like we're doing business together because relationship is a point where we call each other we would we send texts to each other every now and again but that thing of just saying somebody saying did you get the money then yeah you're just like yes and then they disappear and then they'll talk to you after maybe three days and then you you call that relationship no it was not it was not something of that kind and i tend to remember now that this other friend that we had that introduced us to this life um had a guy at our age like had a guy at our age but other than us that will come to his place maybe twice if not thrice a, thrice a week so that i think that guy was her boyfriend like the one that they will do the intimacy thingy and enjoying each other like deep deep not just doing intimacy for the sake of 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 something you get so i think i think i i tend to, to i realized later after the whole situation that oh okay this is how things are happening here you get a guy that gives you money and then you also get a guy that will give you the other things that the body needs oh my gosh mind you guys i'm from rural areas how would i know that how would i know that because in rural areas somebody just say i love you and then you are saying you love him back and that's it and he he later marries somebody else so fine okay then he okay the other weekend came guys sorry the other weekend came which means this weekend is those type like there's no communication at all there's no communication but we can tell because the girl was was grooming us a different in in a different way you get so we and that when the weekend came guys we got ready because i already bought new clothes and clothes of like names and i have to go like show the guy that okay that money that you did send me i did something different with myself like maybe trying to change and look a little bit if you're not somebody with off makeup maybe try to buy makeup you get such things so we are at groover enjoying us and these guys can like you can get there popping champagnes and you live there still popping champagnes like you'll pop a champagne until you're just like no i want something strong not just a champagne because it's too sweet sometimes it tends to be too sweet sometimes you get so okay and you can tell maybe the conversation between me and the person that i was hooked up with was like today we are gonna go to to his place oh my gosh come to think of that come to think of that i never thought it would be that quick but it was it was quick i felt like it was quick <laughs> i felt like it was quick guys so okay fine fine i'm gonna go with this guy my friend promised me that no they're not gonna do anything for you to you like they're not gonna kill you or anything just go you see you're a grown-up you're not a kid you understand then i'm just like oh okay like that feeling of trying to convince yourself going in the road that you don't want to go you know that i can do this i can do this i can do this <laughs> like you only buy a like Lima Diakasa Chava guys, I can't even imagine this. Okay. Fine. And guys, you know that everyone, like I believe that everyone has like their spiritual instinct. Like where you can just tell them, no man, something is off here, something is not going okay here. Even if you are not practicing anything, like you are not a prophet or anything, but you can just tell that something is not it's off here and i don't know what is it okay but bear in mind that i want that life i want that life guys i i went with him to his place like the place looked beautiful like those clean white walls white everything it was black and white like the place was cute like you're perfect in my eyes the place was perfect in my eyes guys and i was so scared i was so scared and um i remember that day guys 
we were sitting jay on a couch obviously we will have to watch something before we can even go to bed and stuff of that kind so the time for bed actually came and at the back of my mind i'm thinking of and i'm just like okay we are gonna try by all means to use protection you understand so okay fine we get to the room like the bedroom and then we get to the bedroom we sleep you know that um sometimes even if a, a woman can run a bedroom but sometimes a man has to start something that you can take over so i'm just like i'm waiting on what he's gonna do next i'm just there like but i don't show like i'm that i'm scared i do not show that i'm i'm acting like a big girl that i know what i want i know why i'm in this like i was acting up all brave honey because i can't disappoint you get so okay the guy surprisingly the guy didn't demand didn't demand so we slept but then something of something that happened to me a long long time ago at that moment as i'm sleeping guys i'm having a dream and some dreams you know you can tell that this is not a dream like somebody actually came into my life came to me and did this to me like it was sort of spiritual husband kind of vibe which means this guy had something that would come and do something on me like have sex with me so like it was it was it was it was something happening i could tell that something is happening something is happening something is happening but i can't resist the feeling you get and that thing finished and went off and i woke up and i found him up you get i found him up like you uh -uh, nah. mm -mm. this is too much guys yo uh-uh the things that will kill us one day you uh nah. no you don't even know what we are doing actually at some point so i found him up and the question that he did ask me was like are you okay i'm just like okay yeah i need to use a bathroom then i went to the bathroom guys and i could tell that oh my gosh i did have sex with something that i don't know what is it oh my gosh mm. uh -uh, nah. that one that i once had of of thinking that it's a nah, it was totally different from that that i was acting up that when i was acting i was in act i was in act myself i didn't even put energy in that oh my gosh it was bad guys it was bad and i went back to sleep and i in the morning then he did like take me back to my place and he did also send me the money guys but this time around the money was not as nice as the one that i got at first because this time around there are things that that happened to me that i don't like so like the man is like can i take it back at the back of my mind i'm like eh. i feel like taking this money back because i can't keep up to the promise i can't keep up to the promise guys and i took that money ah Woo! i took that money guys and i moved out of that place because i was very much scared for my life to think that i'll have to sleep with a dogology every now and again for him mm. Mm -mm. it was something else guys i don't wanna lie it was something else and i moved out because he gave me money i can actually move out at any time i moved out of that place mind you i'm running away from a friend and a friend of a friend like i'm hello oh, i like i blocked them i yo oh, and i didn't even want to meet them in town like no 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 i was like no i can't i cannot i cannot i cannot this is torture i'm here to study i'm not here for this no my parents could send me money and it's enough yo let me just be content guys so yeah um that's the end of the story you guys thank you so much for watching drop some flowers down below i love you so much bye Love you lots.